हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोन टॉक अबाउट मेन इंजिन कंट्रोल सिस्टम दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द एम ई इंजिन सीरीज एंड इन पार्ट वन आई हैव टॉक अबाउट द डेजिग्नेशन ऑफ द एम ई इंजिन एंड इन पार्ट टू आई विल टॉक अबाउट ई आई सी यू एंड ई सी यू एंड इन पार्ट थ्री आई विल टॉक अबाउट सी सी यू एंड ACU. So, as you can see, this is the flow chart diagram of the main engine control system. So, if suppose the signal of dead slow ahead is given from bridge, what will happen after that? It will come down to the engine control room. In engine control room, it will go to the main operating panel A. or either to main operating panel b and after that it will go to eicu a or eicu b one thing i want to tell you that either one of them a or b or here eicu a or b only one of them will be functioning and other will be standby and after from eicu it will go to the ecu a or ecu b and from ecu a it will go to the individual cylinder unit and to the acu now this is how a command from the bridge is been carried on now the bridge panel basically is located in a bridge the mop panel eicu and ecu this three thing is located in a engine control room lop is located in the emergency platform and ccu is located in the individual cylinder unit and acu is controlling the auxiliary control unit so let's discuss about first eicu so eicu is situated in a engine control room two eicu unit are provided for redundancy purpose eicu 1 and eicu 2 so as you can see the command from bridge panel is coming and after passing to the main operating panel it is coming to eicu a or eicu b two in number are provided so that if one fail the other take over and engine performance is not hampered and standby can work now at a time one ecu eicu is operational in case of one fail other will take over if both fail then engine can still be run from the local operating panel emergency maneuvering very important so what do i mean by that if suppose eicu and eicu b both a and b if fail still the control can be taken to lop means local operational panel means from main operating panel mop the control will transfer to the local operational panel it means the control will be transformed from engine control room to the emergency maneuvering platform and from there it can work and give command to ecu a and ecu b so it is very easy to understand now what is happening after that how the eicu work what the eicu is doing eicu receive it command from bridge or ecr basically why it is written in this way that if the control is in bridge the command will come from bridge and process to the mop panel and then go to the eicu and process this data through it interface and then it process signal is provided to ecu network a and b so if someone asks you that what is the function of eicu you should say that a eicu process the data which is been given from the bridge and after processing the data it convert it into the signal and give it to the eic ecu network a and ecu network b 
okay now let's see why engine control unit is provided so first question is asked that where it is provided engine control unit is located in ECR engine control room so this thing is also located in ECR okay they are provided to a number as you know of provide for redundancy purpose so that if anyone fail the other should work okay but unlikely eicu if both ecu fail then engine cannot be started one ecu should always work in any scenario very important so what do i mean by that is here as i have told you earlier that if these two fail the control from mop will be taken over by lop and still the signal can be given to ecu a or ecu b but now this is also provided into if one fail other will take over but if both fail then engine cannot work engine will be stand still so it is very important that in any scenario one ecu should always be working okay now what are the function of ecu means what is the importance of ecu why it is so important so as i have told you after receiving the signal from eicu ecu after receiving signal of running mode and speed range from eicu will decide the amount of fuel required for the speed range and will process the signal to the ccu very important so eicu is giving the signal from the bridge or from the control room to ecu what suppose you have you have told dash low ahead now the dash low ahead will come here and eicu will then send that i want this speed range and i want this running mode means ahead or ashton means they slow ahead means the running mode is ahead and the speed range in this this will be conveyed to ecu a from the eicu for the day slow ahead given from bridge after that the ecu now will decide that for day slow ahead how much how much amount of fuel to be given to the individual cylinder unit and how much injection timing to be set so that that speed can be achieved and that direction can be blocked so what eicu is doing the amount of fuel required for that speed range will be process the signal to ccu so for dead slow ahead the amount of fuel required will be conveyed to the individual cylinder unit by ecu okay after that what will happen ecu ecu will also decide the timing of fuel injection exhaust valve actuation and cylinder lubrication after receiving the positional signal from the angle encoder on the forward side of the engine and then send the process signal to ccu so basically a angle encoder is provided like this in the forward part of the engine so as i have told you that eicu has given the given two signal running mode and speed range for speed range the amount of fuel signal is given to ccu okay from ecu but the running mode means whether it will run in a head or a stern for that the ecu is first giving first receiving the signal from the angle encoder that which direction is we want to rotate and for that after deciding seeing that he will, it will send the signal for the timing of fuel injection exhaust valve actuation and cylinder lubrication so that engine can be rotated in that direction to ccu so 
मेन फंक्शन एज यू कैन सी इज बीन कैरिड आउट बाई ई सी यू ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ई सी यू विल ऑल्सो सेंड सिग्नल टू ऑक्सिलिक कंट्रोल यूनिट फॉर हाइड्रोलिक प्रेशर सो फॉर हाइड्रोलिक प्रेशर ऑल्सो ई सी यू विल सेंड सिग्नल टू ए सी यू सो इन सिनोपसिस इफ समन से वॉट इज हैपनिंग सो यू टेल दम वी हैव given a signal of dead flow ahead from the bridge it will come and it will be replicated in a mop panel and from mop panel it will go to a eicu eicu will receive that signal and will process it and will transmit that i want for dead flow ahead this range speed range and this speed range and this running mode i will need eicu will send this command to the ecu A and ECU B. Now ECU will decide. Okay, for that speed range, I need that amount of fuel, and that signal will be sent to CCU. For running indication, it will receive the signal from angle encoder, and then process the signal for timing of the fuel injection, exhaust valve activation, and cylinder lubrication again to ccu and after that it will also receive the signal send a signal for hydraulic pressure to acu so as you can see the ecu is a main unit which is performing the function of after receiving the signal okay so i hope now in this video you understand how a eicu and ecu is working now for detailed information of ccu and acu please remain tuned and you will get the get that in our next video till then if you like the video please do hit the like button and please do subscribe and please do share in your facebook and whatsapp group it's a request because this is a very our modding group is very small and i want that i can reach to maximum person so that i can share the knowledge with them please friend please do my request and have a good day and please be in home and be safe have a good day friend